the entrance antiphon. Let the children come to me. Do not prevent them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Good morning. Good morning. Today's Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Nestor Yap. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, to prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we first ask for God's forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. O God, who adorned the priest, St. Joseph Calistranitz, with such charity and piety that he labored tirelessly to, to educate children and to endure the, endow. endow them every virtue. Grant, we pray, that we who so venerate him as teacher and of wisdom may constantly imitate him, for he was a co-worker of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, love is patient, love is kind, it is not jealous, it is not pompous, it is not inflated, it is not rude. It does not seek its own interests, it is not quick-tempered, it does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It hears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. If there are prophecies, then they will be brought to nothing. If tongues, they will cease. If knowledge, it will be brought to nothing. For we know partially, and we prophesy partially. But when the perfect comes, the partial will pass away. When I was a child, I used to talk as a child, think as a child, reason as a child. When I became a man, I put aside childish things. At present, we see indistinctly as in a mirror, but then face to face. At present, I know partially. Then I shall know fully, as I am fully known. So faith, hope, love remain, these three. But the greatest of these is love. The word of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. I will bless the Lord at all times. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. I will bless the Lord at all times. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. I will bless the Lord at all times. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. 
Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. I will bless the Lord at all times. Fear the Lord, you holy ones, for naught is lacking to those who fear him. The great grow poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord want for no good thing. I will bless the Lord at all times. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Remain in my love, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you be turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The image of Jesus putting a child in, their, in, a, in the midst of the people and saying, becomes like this child. You know, I think it's it's an image that we look we 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 envision it and we see this this child, this innocent child, this you know pure almost uh, a near perfect little little being, and and we see this person and we say, yeah, that's how we need to have our relationship with God. This you know we have to look up to God. We as you know like a father in effect is what he tells us later. But the, there's, a, there's another key word in there when he mentions humility. Because, you know, we often don't think of a child as being humble. Those of us who've had children could attest to that, that humility is not a childlike virtue. But there's a big difference between our culture and the culture of our Lord's time. Because during Jesus' time, the child was the lowest person in the household. In fact, these writings, writers, this James Pilch, who I tend to refer to often, basically wrote that if a person had a choice between saving his slave or his child, well, he was going to save the slave because a slave had value and a child was really a, looked upon as really a burden up to that point. So we, you know, but, uh, but there's a danger too, though, with, with the idea of humility. First off, we have to acknowledge that what we have comes from God. It's not necessarily from our own, our own being or our own creation. God gives us the talent. But the other thing is sometimes humility becomes a false humility. You know, you, you want to say, we get in our mind, oh, gee, I'm worthless and all this. No. We're all valuable. We're all children of God, but we have to. In the humility we need is one that acknowledges that our that what we have is from God. And we're all valuable to God. It's very important, but the humility again needs to be just an acknowledgement that it's not me. It's God working through me that that enables us to often do the things, the good things that we do. So again, you know, it's great to have that image of this little innocent child, but we have to remember too that we have got to place others sometime ahead of us. Their needs sometime become more important than ours. So, you know, there and, and certainly we should never look down on anybody because everybody is equal in God's eyes. We come now with our needs before God, our Heavenly Father. We pray for our Holy Father. We pray for our bishops and all who lead us in following Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, that they may have healing grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. 
We pray for the deceased that they may have eternal rest. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the repose of the soul of Nestor, Yep, and all who was asked for our prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we silently add our own intentions. For all of these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we've come with our needs. Hear us all. Through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. Become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. Become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offering is placed on your altar in commemoration of St. Joseph Calasanz, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these Sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Joseph Calasan, you bid your church. Rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teaching her by the words of preaching and keeping her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we proclaim the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Amen.
turn.